Yeah, why doesn't everybody just come stand on us? That'd be cool. Kevin, there's literally a woman standing on your shoulder right now. You're poking her in the butt, Kevin. <laughs> That's not how to secure a vote. It's also not a bear. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Kevin. And in this week's episode, Kevin is going to be keeping a promise that he made a long, long time ago, and that one day he would become the leader of the free world. And what a world it will be. I know you guys are probably wondering, how does Llama Man play into this? He's painting something. How is that going to play into his plan? I have no idea. This is what happens. I log into the game. He's dressed as Llama Man. He's making a flirty painting. You just go with it. Whoa, Kevin, I mean, Llama Man, sorry, not to blow your cover. That's pretty good. I don't think I've ever seen that painting before. They might be adding more as they update the game, which would make a lot of sense. I like the boobage on it. We should probably hold on to that one. Let's uh, put that in the old inventory for now. Mips. And then, oh yeah, <laughs> very off. flirty. He's still riding high after renewing his vows with Emma last episode. Ooh, and uh, Tommy has a phone call. Bella Goth is wondering if you want to go over to her house and hang out. She's still all over that, especially since we kind of made her break up with her husband and then haven't spoke to her in like 20 episodes. I've been busy, okay? Things happen. Not right now, because, uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to become a leader of the free world. What are you right now, Kevin, other than a man dressed up like another mammal? You are some kind of MacGuffin. You have some kind of job going right now. Where is it? He is a civil servant. Okay, so he's, I think, level five, and there's 10 levels, which is good. He's on the path of becoming the president. So right now, we need to secure two votes, and that's our daily task. Secure votes? How do you do that? Do you think they would consider it cheating to secure your wife's vote? I mean, we only need two votes. We have five family members. I can't believe you only need two votes to become whatever comes after civil servant, but either way, what do you say, honey? A, a vote for Llama Man is a vote well spent, right? Is that a yes? Do we secure the vote? We're, we're gonna discuss it in the hot tub. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a fine idea, I guess. We're just gonna wine and dine. Yeah, well, we're gonna discuss all the advantages of voting for Llama Man. He'll put his tongue in your mouth. Wait, what? What is it? I literally just clicked secure vote. Kevin! Where did secure vote go? You, you can't just sleep your way to the top of the free world, Kevin. I mean, you could try. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna guess that that's at least one vote secured. Is it full of piranhas? What the hell is happening? <laughs> Very excited piranhas. Are, are we good? I think we're good. We didn't get the vote, though, because I think you screwed it, right? Okay, let's just try that one more time. Is the game freaking out right now? Secure vote. Right, yeah. A vote for Kevin is a vote well spent. Did she just say no? Emma is unconvinced that Kevin will make a good community leader. <laughs> and refuse to vote for him in the upcoming election. Try to promote policies or make empty promises to increase the likelihood of securing a vote. You see, Kevin, I told you that you can't just sleep your way to the top of the free world. I, I thought for sure that would work, but, uh, oh, she's talking about money now. We're talking about sports. Okay, let's try another family member. How about we promote some policies with Barbie? She seems like a smart cookie. You know what? I've always believed it. And Kevin has some very strong policies in mind. He believes in um, high-paying jobs for all aliens. No shoes for anybody. Time-traveling toilets should be under lock and key at all times. Barbecue seemed really receptive when Kevin promoted his policies. Political actions should be easier with this sim now. Okay, that that went well. She really does appreciate the whole loving of aliens, right? Okay, that went well. So yeah, you can lie or you can promote like legitimate policies. You can do it the skeezy way or the trustworthy way. Kevin is a trustworthy politician, believe it or not. And uh, we should now be able to secure her vote. Stop talking about robots, Kevin. She's had a bad experience with robots. Uh, I, she may have been to the sun. I don't really know. She's like the, the sun. You can't live on the sun, Kevin. That's not how stars work. Thanks to a strong command of the issues, a confident demeanor, and maybe just a few empty promises. Shoes for nobody. Yeah, that's not empty. Kevin successfully secured a barbecue's vote. We have one vote, Kevin. Maybe we should try to secure Amber's vote, because if the only two people to vote for Kevin are sauces, people might look into that. That might be a little bit sketchy. Amber is a McCutler. 
the Cutler, the Butler. So uh, she may walk away, but she's not getting far because we are going to promote our policies. Where are you going? You're my you're my butler. You have to come back if I ring the bell. Come back. All good political conversations begin with a firm handshake and no shirt. Amber seemed really receptive when Kevin promoted his policies. Excellent. Okay, she fell for it. I mean, she totally believes in what Kevin believes. And now we can hopefully secure the vote. Go win for the kill, Kevin. We only need two votes. We should be good to go for tomorrow. I, I think, right? We're, we're gonna send people to the sun. Kevin still doesn't really understand what the sun is. Thanks to strong command of issues, confident demeanor, and maybe just a few empty promises, Kevin secured Amber's vote. Okay, we're good. So we have votes secured. We have the charisma necessary. Now, if you just maybe put on some clothes, I think we're gonna be good to go for work tomorrow. So Kevin's workday started, and I decided to work from home rather than send him away because you'll get the promotion anyway, it's the same amount of performance gain, except we get to actually do stuff with him. They gave us an assignment, and we need to make friends in the fashion district, and then promote policies. Like, I know you're all for making friends, Kevin, right? And you're very fashionable, but it seems really weird that as a politician, I need to make friends with a stranger. I'm kind of afraid who we're gonna meet in the fashion district. Kevin, don't laugh at the fact that she's playing guitar and no music is coming out. That's rude. Maybe she's a guitarist mime? I'm really, really confused right now. I don't think we want to be her friend. I think... <laughs> Stop laughing. I said that was rude. Okay, no, we could be friends with somebody else. There's a... There's, there's a mime here. I guess we could go be friends with this dude. Shouldn't your face be gold as well? Maybe there's somebody cool hanging out in the karaoke bar. I can't imagine there is, especially with this happening right now. Yeah, we don't want to be your friend, that's for sure. Don't think Bella Swan's gonna be our friend after we murdered her husband? I don't know what they are. Kevin is throwing flowers on people. <laughs> Kevin, I said we weren't gonna be that guy's friend. Okay, we're gonna be Bob Circuit's friend because he's cool. He's from Reboot. He's blue. We need more people from the blue demographic. So let's just uh, give him a friendly introduction. Kevin decided to make friends the only way he knows how. We also had to step outside because the karaoke is absolutely unbearable. And uh, this guy just kind of followed. He's just kind of staring at us awkwardly. He, he does think that we like him just a little tiny bit because Kevin littered him with rose petals. Listen, dude, Kevin doesn't know that that's a romantic thing, all right? Yeah, why doesn't everybody just come stand on us? That'd be cool. Kevin, there's literally a woman standing on your shoulder right now. You're poking her in the butt, Kevin. <laughs> that's not how to secure a vote. It's also not a bear. Hey, yeah, okay, I think we're good. We're now friends. I've made friends in the fashion district. And since Bob likes us, maybe we can also do some political stuff. Uh, let's promote some policies. Firm handshake, we'll discuss how we're sending people to the sun, and then we go in for the kill. Yeah, straight to the sun. It's like I said earlier. Okay, he bought it. I, why does that keep working? Well, Kevin, that was a productive day of work. We got everything done, and I think we should probably leave before this crazy lady wants you to stick your finger in her butt again. Guess who got the big promotion? And a brand new suit. Kevin is now a public official, making $91 an hour. He needed to secure three votes, which he already has. And uh, our daily task is to secure votes, which has not been started. Okay, yeah, let's try to get Evie's vote. Family members still count. Go ahead, Kevin, give her the speech about how we're gonna send everybody to the sun, right? Oh, oh no. You didn't tell her about the sun, Kevin, and she walked away. Okay, that's, uh, wow, man. Tough crowd. We're only gonna get, like, half the votes from the family. Tommy, we're all going to the sun. Are, are you in? Tommy's in. I knew I could count on you, Tommy. Yeah, we could talk about vampires all you want. You know what? They're, they're totally real. They got machine guns and explosions. Do you know what it is? I'm willing to bet that it comes down to who is and isn't biologically a sauce. Evie, Emma, they weren't technically born of the sauce, so it makes sense that they would doubt Kevin, as any sane, rational person would, but all the other ones were born into this. Another day on the campaign trail, and Kevin is once again gonna be working from home. So this time, we need to give an inspirational speech in Uptown. What's Uptown? <laughs> and then we need to get to know Sims in Uptown. Okay, let's go work the streets. Oh, right, this is Uptown. I completely forgot that it was like the rich part of town. 
It's easy to forget when there are bears doing sit-ups in the middle of the street. Kevin doesn't have a whole lot of friends in the rich end of things when you think about it. Pretty much everybody that hates Kevin is rich. He was picketing, I think it was uh, more small, no, Smolians for everybody, right? That was the cause that he was promoting. And uh, now we need to make friends. There are a lot of bears in this neighborhood. We, why, why are they all exercising? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, everybody go to work. Kevin needs to make friends. Actually, you know what? We could use people in the bear demographic. Gotta give a firm handshake to a bear. Actually, I think this is uh, technically Whitney Fox. So it, it's one of the beautiful bears, I believe. She seems to be receptive of Kevin's beliefs in that uh, there should be no shoes for Sims, even bears. And you know what? Bears have a hard time earning money, I would imagine. I don't think I've ever seen them employed in town. So now we will try to secure a vote. We don't actually need to be securing votes. What am I doing right now? We need to get to know Sims in Uptown. And then we need to give inspirational speeches. But we can still use your vote. We're still going to the sun. Bears are invited. We got it. What is going on with Chuck Norris's head right now? He's got a whole lot of plus signs and light bulbs floating out of his brain. Okay, well either way, uh, we're gonna introduce him to the sun, and uh, we've learned that he is ambitious. Now we know two Sims in Uptown. Chuck Norris and a bear. The gym was a great success. We managed to get to know three Sims, and now Kevin is giving an inspiration speech to a packed crowd. It is just wild up in here. I mean, that's fine. They'll regret not coming when history deems you the ultimate leader of the free world. Oh, uh, what the hell is going on over here? Why are they picketing? Now isn't the time. They're even picketing for different causes. <laughs> There's two different riots happening right now. Kevin's speech didn't inspire anyone. Yeah, no shit, but we still accomplished our goal. So we can go home. Do I even really care about what's going on over here? I feel like we should do something. Oh my god, there's more of them. They're spreading. Okay, no, Kevin's gonna try to convince them to leave. Did it work? He put his sign back up in his butt. Oh my god, you're so loud! They're... Okay, so now at least there's only one protest happening right now. It's for the environment. This dude decided to get his shit together. And uh, he seems to appreciate- Oh, no, never mind. Listen, man, I tried to ask you politely and you weren't having any of it. So now you better hope the global warming goes a lot quicker than we expect because it's the only way you're getting out of this. Heaven Sauce has been promoted to council person. There we go, okay, an extra $36 an hour, $172 per hour total, not bad. We got the kiss baby interaction. Oh my God, we need to go kiss some babies. That would be hilarious. And then uh, I think we're, we're pretty good. We just need to get a couple more promotions. I don't know when you get to become president. Okay, we're gonna work from home again because it's another work day, a little campaign trail. We need to paint a political mural and then we need to give a confident speech in Uptown. Okay, well, we're still hanging out in Uptown. So we might as well give that speech to the uh, roaring crowds. Someday they'll listen, Kevin, and that'll be the day that nobody has shoes. Unsurprisingly enough, there is nowhere to paint a political mural in Uptown because they're so snooty and stuff like that. No, Kevin, get out of the garbage can. That's a nice suit. That's a new suit. What could you possibly be looking for? Ooh, that's an even nicer suit than the one you had last promotion. Look at that. You got a little gold pin and everything. And yet you dumpster dive. Okay, either way, we need to find a place where we can paint a political mural and then that'll be it for today. Uh... I think we might be able to do it here. We really need to remove somebody else's graffiti before we can do our own. We're just doing our part for the community. Hey, Kevin, yep, she's gonna think about bongos and then we're gonna squeegee up the spray paint. Yeah, that's totally how it works. Are you just gonna sit there looking at Kevin's ass or maybe help? Oh, okay, yep, you, you got it all. I, I would be confident as well. Don't you dare start painting, hey, hey. Hey, no, no. I don't see any police officers in sight, and you know what? It's very rude to make a mess after somebody just cleaned up, so freeze. You're under citizen's arrest. Now Kevin needs to squeegee up all your mess. I'm really happy that Kevin still has a freeze ray gun. It comes in incredibly handy. Okay, we need to paint a political mural. There we go. Uh, we don't need her to move, do we? No, she, she's good. I'm almost terrified to find out what it's gonna be. It looks like we're just painting snow underneath the yes. snow woman we just made. Yeah, you know what, it's coming along. It's getting there. I like that her shadow just creeps across the mural <laughs> as she's frozen in place. <laughs> That's actually kind of creepy, but I really like it. Hey, we have a helper. 
All right, the little lady decided to thaw out and run off, and uh, now we have somebody else. What, you don't want her helping? No, no, we're good. I was gonna say we could use some help. The sun's gone down. We've been here literally all day, just laying down multiple base coats of white so that it looks just right. No, no, Kevin, don't stop. Okay, yeah, we need to freeze her. I don't want her to put the finishing touches on the mural and then get credit for it. I see you, you are a thief. Trying to take credit for my political work. That's right, okay, and now we're gonna continue it. Kevin couldn't continue because she was doing it. <laughs> what is with people and trying to take things from me today? Here we go, some finishing touches, and we're good. Everything is uh, all finished. It's uh, a testament to climate change. We really wanna make sure that uh, nothing thaws out. We should probably get out of here. Knock, knock, hello. Hey Grim, how's it going? Now, I know this might seem a little bit weird, but you're the only person I know who has babies, and I can now kiss babies, so I'm here to kiss your babies. Don't worry about it, I know it's strange to have a quasi-stranger kind of walk in and just start kissing your babies, but uh, it's what us politicians do, we gain our powers from it. I will still get your vote by telling you about my plan to send everybody to the sun. Yep, we, we love sending people to the sun. What a perfect photo op, holding the future of society in his arms while the proud family looks on. <laughs> Kevin is the quintessential portrait of caring, community-focused politician. Uh, where, where did, where did Grim go? Oh, he's taking care of another one. I do not pity you in the slightest. I think we're gonna get out of here now. Thank you for letting me kiss your offspring. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. I know we're not technically the entire way to leader of the free world yet, it will happen. I'm gonna do another episode, because right now, I've been recording for two and a half hours, and I feel like a lot of stuff has happened. I don't wanna edit stuff out and have you guys miss things just because I wanna to try to cram it all into one video, so I will do another episode, but it won't be next week, because next week, I'm gonna be looking at the Parenthood Pack. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it, it is gonna happen, and it's gonna be a new mini-series, which I think you guys are really gonna like. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.